Lucky and the Giant. One morning, Lucky wanted to go fishing, but when he got to the river, he could not believe his eyes. The river was gone. There was no water. There were just dry stones. Someone had taken the river away. Lucky ran home to tell his father, Our crops cannot grow without water, said father. I must look into this right away. Father followed the dry bed of the river up and up into the hills, and then he saw where his river was. Elmo the giant had taken it. The giant had made a lake for himself and would not let the water come down the hill. I suppose you have come for your river, said the giant. Well, you cannot have it. But I know the law of giant land, said father. If I can do a giant's task, the giant must give me what I ask. And do you know the rest of the law, asked the giant. If the task you cannot do, it's seven years of work for you. If you fail in my task, you must work for me for seven years. Do you still dare to try? Father looked at the giant. Elmo's boots were put on wrong, and they didn't even match. He doesn't look so smart, thought Father to himself. I'm sure I can do his task. Yes, said Father, I will try your task. Then Elmo put one huge foot on the hill, and he put his other foot in the valley. Ho, ho, he laughed. Let me see you do this. Put one foot on my land, and at the same time, put your other foot on your own land. That I cannot do, said Father sadly. You know I am not a giant. Then you must work for me for seven years, said Elmo. Start digging my field. While father was digging in the giant's field, mother was at home, worrying about him. Why isn't your father back by now, she said to Lucky. Something must be wrong. I shall go up the hill to see if he needs my help. Mother followed the dry bed of the river up and up into the hills, and there she saw Father digging in the field. I suppose you have come for your husband, said the giant. Well, you cannot have him. But I know the law of giant land, said Mother. If I can do a giant's task, the giant must give me what I ask. And do you know the rest of the law? asked the giant. If the task you cannot do, it's seven years of work for you. Do you still dare to try? Mother looked at the giant. Elmo needed a haircut, and his sleeves were too short. He doesn't look so smart, thought Mother to herself. I'm sure I can do his task. Yes, said Mother. I will try your task. Then Elmo picked up a rock and broke it with his bare hands. Ho, ho, he laughed. Let me see you put one rock into two boxes at the same time. That I cannot do, said Mother sadly. You know I'm not a giant. Then you must work for me for seven years, said Elmo. Start peeling my potatoes. While father was digging in the giant's field and mother was peeling the giant's potatoes, Lucky was home, worrying about them. Why aren't father and mother back by now, said Lucky. Something must be wrong. I shall go up the hill to see if they need my help. Then Lucky followed the dry bed of the river up and up into the hills, but as he went along he saw different things that he wanted to save, so he picked them up and put them into his pocket. At last, Lucky saw his father digging in the giant's field. I suppose you have come for your father, 
said the giant. Well, you cannot have him. But I know the law of giant land, said Lucky. If I can do a giant's task, the giant must give me what I ask. And do you know the rest of the law? asked the giant. If the task you cannot do, it's seven years of work for you. Do you still dare to try? Lucky looked at his poor father digging away in the giant's field. Yes, he said. I will try your task. Then Elmo put one huge foot on the hill, and he put his other foot in the valley. Ho, ho, he laughed. Let me see you do this. Put one foot on my land, and at the same time put your other foot on your father's land. Why, said Lucky, I can do that very thing. I just happened to bring some of my father's land with me. From his pocket, Lucky took a jar of earth, which came from his father's farm. He poured out the earth in a little pile and put one foot on it. So now he had one foot on the giant's land and the other foot on his father's land. Father dropped his shovel. Now he was a free man again. Then Lucky looked around and saw his mother peeling potatoes in the kitchen. I have come for my mother too, he said. You have, have you, roared the giant. Then you must do another task. The giant picked up a rock and broke it with his bare hands. There, he said. Let me see you put one rock into two boxes at the same time. Why, said Lucky, I can do that very thing. I just happened to bring two boxes with me. From his pocket, Lucky took two boxes. One box was smaller than the other. He dropped a pebble into the smaller box. Then he put the small box into the bigger one. So now the little rock was in two boxes at the same time. Mother dropped the knife and the potatoes. She was free again. Elmo looked unhappy, but Lucky wasn't through with him yet. Just a minute, said Lucky. We want our river too. Well then, said the giant, first let me see you take all the water out of my lake with a little spoon. Why, said Lucky, I can do that very thing. I just happened to bring a little spoon with me. From his pocket, Lucky took a little spoon, and with it he began to dig into the mud wall at the bottom of the dam. Lucky dug and dug. At last, the water began to trickle out. The hole became wider. The trickle became a torrent, and then the river flowed as merrily as before. The giant's lake was empty. Lucky and his mother and his father looked at Elmo. Even though he had tried to take their river, they felt sorry for him. Look, said Lucky to the giant, there is really enough water for all. The trouble is that you built the dam in the wrong place. Build the wall over here. Then you will have your lake, and the water will still come down to our farm. They all helped Elmo build a new dam, and by and by, he had a brand new lake. No one ever tried to help me before, said the giant. If I can ever do anything for you, just let me know. So Lucky and his parents went happily home. Your father and I are lucky, said Mother. We are lucky to have a boy as clever and good as you are.